Hello everyone and thank you for watching. I just wanted to make a quick announcement that I have started a Patreon and it features exclusive content and Patreon only monthly giveaways. Check it out in the link in the description below. Nostalgia. Nostalgia is a way for toy companies to profit off the kids of the past who make money in the present. Or not so money making like me. <laughs> so, what do you know? Union Creative made an Arthur from Ghouls and Ghosts, and you guessed it, I just had to have him and his super counterpart, considering Ghouls and Ghosts took a lot of my quarters and allowance back in the late 1980s. So, nostalgia plays a big part in this purchase. Arthur is one of my favorite characters to play in Marvel vs. Capcom 3 as well. So, did he become one of my favorite figures? Let's find out in this toy review of Union Creative Arthur from Capcom's Ghouls and Ghosts. So let me start off this review with the details that annoy me about this figure. These shoulder pads. Both the gold and the silver Arthur have them, and right out of the box they fell off. In fact, you can see while they were in the box that they were already removed. Not good. So upon opening them, the shoulder pads just fell off and trying to fit them properly on his armor is quite difficult and takes some getting used to. Yet, even when you do get them on, they are very loose and just fall off anyway. Why is this, you ask? It's because of poor design. These pegs on his shoulder pads must be molded perfectly in order for them to fit. And you would think that after spending about 65 US dollars that we would get a perfect figure which is perfectly molded, right? Nope. These pegs on my silver Arthur are horrible and do not fit well. Hence, they just keep falling off. The gold one is a little bit better. But the main problem with the gold one is his horrid cape. After looking at production pictures of Gold Arthur, I thought the cape would be of good quality and nice molded plastic like the Marvel Legends capes. Nope, it's cheap and flimsy plastic and doesn't look that good on him because of the cheap material that is used. Not to mention, it took me quite a while to get it to fit on his shoulder pads and because the shoulder pads do not really fit well into the chest plate, combine that with the horrible cape, and what you have here is a bad design. These horrible details is most likely due to the toy company's greatest weakness, quality, quality control. control. The silver one especially needs some serious rework, as some of his joints are really tight, and then some of them are really loose. Gold Arthur seems to be more consistent, but that is no excuse. Both should have the same quality control as they are practically the same toy, yet I am unhappy with the joints of my silver one. So I've ranted enough about the lack of quality control, so enough of the negativity. Here is what's great about both of them. The remarkable attention to detail in their paint applications. Both the silver and gold paint applications are so spot on and feature a very nice shimmery finish that mimics polished metal and looks great under any light. Just take a second and look how amazing this armor is. It is very well done and this is the best feature of this figure. When he is in his boxer shorts mode, ladies, he features a yellow and black stars on the gold one and a white with strawberries on the silver one. The skin tone is also worth mentioning, as it is painted with a contrasting matte finish and light shading. His art design looks like it's based off Super Ghouls and Ghosts from the Super Nintendo days, and also his face is definitely from Marvel vs. Capcom 3 making him a good mix of past and present. If you can get past the annoying shoulder pads, the cape on the gold one, and know that there are some QC issues, then by all means he's quite amazing in terms of paint and detail. 
And if that's okay with you, then by all means, he's quite the buy. Starting with scale, he fits really well with Marvel Legends, Figure Arts, and Figma, as you can see here. This is great so you can have that Marvel vs. Capcom team you've always wanted. Looking at articulation, we will be looking at the gold one as the silver one has loose joints and I fear I may break him. Arthur features joints similar to Reveltech, which is a peg ball joint hybrid. I noticed that if you get a tight Reveltech joint, it usually stays that way but a loose one is very hard to fix. His articulations are ball joint at the ankle, bend at the knee, ball joint in upper leg, pegged and rotatable waist, ball joint in shoulder, ball joint in elbow, ball joint in wrist, and ball joint in neck, giving him about 16 points of articulation. Not much when you compare him to other import figures, but this makes sense considering he has bulky armor and giving him more would remove the feature of removable armor. Speaking of armor, here's how to remove it. Remove the chest plate, which is two pieces. Remove the hands. Remove his armor sleeves. Remove his boot like so. Slide off the leg pieces. Remove the groin armor like so. Then replace his leg armor with the included boxer shorts attachment. And bam! Boxer shorts. By the way, why was he in his boxer shorts in the cemetery with the princess? What the heck were they doing there? Let me know down in the comments down below and tell me what you think. This is where the price makes the package worth it. Both Arthurs feature his classic lance, dagger, torch, axe, hairpiece for when he's in his boxers Arthur, blank stare face, neutral face, and different helmets. These accessories are also colored appropriately according to the Arthur that you get, gold or silver. My favorite weapon has to be the lance, as I love the paint application on both the gold and silver one as it features the same shimmery finish as the armor. In order to place the lance in his hand, you can remove the handle like so and place it in his hand. The problem I have with the lance is that the handle is a little thin, so posing it in a throwing stance isn't as sturdy. The axe is really cool looking as well and is very video game accurate. Unlike the lance, this axe fits his hand really well. Just a note, if you have a figure art stand, they can actually hold the accessories really well for those MVC3 or Ghouls and Ghosts displays. The torch is very well painted as you can see here, and features a red and yellow gradient. His popular dagger is also included and it features a shimmery silver blade and wooden brown handle. Much like the torch, it fits very well in the hand. Notice that I've said hand, not hands. Yes, you only get one hand that can hold his accessories. This is a little disappointing. I was really hoping for dual wielding Arthurs, but alas, I cannot. Looking at the faces, you get a grinning face, neutral face, and a comical blank stare face for both of them. The neutral face cannot be used with the helmet and can only be used with the hairpiece that you get with him for his boxer shorts mode or unhelmeted Arthur, as you can see here. Speaking of the helmets, both top pieces of the helmet 
fell off easily, so I had just super glued them so I won't lose them. Again, this is somewhat disappointing as they really shouldn't be removable in the first place. There's no reason for it. Also, my silver one had a really loose joint right here on the mouth guard, so I had to tighten it up with Vibratite. Again, quality control. Despite that, I really love both these helmets, and I also like how both of them are different. So, you kind of know that these figures are not repaints of each other. So here's what I think of this figure, and let's break it down. I've been a fan of Ghouls and Ghosts since I was a child, so getting Arthur is a dream come true for me. Yet, as a toy reviewer, it's hard to ignore Union Creative's flaws in their design. The armor is my main frustration, and it kills me that his shoulder pieces and gold Arthur's cape is just not up to par for the amount of money I've spent on them. So for me, as a fan, this is a buy. But if you're getting him to complete your Marvel vs. Capcom set, then he is a maybe buy. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and have a good one. Hey you! Thanks for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Where? Right here, not there, right here. You. And thanks for watching. So, rate, comment, and subscribe. Right here, right there, right here. Yeah.